All right, welcome back. Former Minister of Education, Obi Ezekwesili, has criticized Nigerian politicians for being responsible for many problems the country is facing. According to her, many Nigerian politicians, after being elected into office, adopt a life of debauchery in public leadership at the expense of the people. This is even as the governor-elect of Anambra State, Professor Charles Oludo, said Nigeria and the rest of Africa uh, need a new liberation movement in view of the silent agitations and complaints against the current state of affairs in the land. Is a question urged the Nigerian politicians to imitate their counterparts in developed societies, whom she said understood that sacrifice for the good of the people was the basis of legitimacy in public leadership. Now, joining us to discuss this is the Meiji Fabii, a member of the People's Democratic Party, and Kelani Mohammed, an APC chieftain. Many thanks for joining us uh, on this particular discussion. I'll start with you, the Meiji. Good evening to you, the Meiji. Thank you very much. It's good to be. All right. Uh, the governor elect of um, Anambra State has put it so succinctly, and of course, the former Minister of Education, that's Obi Ezekwesili. And if I had to paraphrase, basically, what they are saying is that Nigeria has an issue with leadership. Specifically, the, they are saying that the present crop of um, leaders that we have across all spheres of the country, they are not actually people oriented. Do you agree? Okay, uh, if, I, if I hear you correctly, um, you said the former Minister of Education, OB, um, said the challenge of Africa has to be the leadership. Yes, in other words, yes. Oh, 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 okay, yeah. I tend to agree partially with that because there are two components. We have the leaders and we have the led. Yes, the bill of our problem has been credible leaders uh, who can uh, work for the people. Uh, but what we are accomplishing in Africa is that the uh, net themselves are not doing enough. Um, they just take like and conquer whatever they place on their table. So it's from both sides. That's why I said I don't entirely agree with that. Yes, we are leaders who are putting themselves, who are uh, always been on the side. Uh, but, but we have more leaders who don't even care. So now the, the, the what is now in the court of the, of the lead to ensure that uh, they, they push them to do what they're supposed to do for the common good of the people. You are not in the office for self, I am supposed to be in the office for self aggrandizement, but to serve the people and are good enough. No nation, no society exists without laws. So these laws are provided the people that are being led, you have to elect the leaders to do the right thing. But what we found in this case is that the led themselves as a good they have accepted everything that is not from them by the leader. When you compare what that is to what we have in the advanced countries, it's like a big different thing. The, the citizens know their rights and they fight for their rights and they fulfill their rights, but we don't have such in Africa. All right, the major. All right, Demetri, you seem to be uh, putting the bulk of the issue on um, you know, the shoulders of the lead. But then again, wouldn't you agree with me that over time, you know, those politicians seemingly are uh, bereft of ideologies of how they really want to go about um, governing the country. They come uh, you know, during campaigns and during electioneering and they you know, claim and uh, bring all sorts of lofty ideas. At the end of the day, when they are voted into power, this issue of intellect that we talk about, we don't actually get to see eventually. So, my, you know, it's not, but it's not that I'm putting on the side of the, uh, everything on the side of the, of the land. Okay, these people that are leading us, how many are they? Okay, let me take Nigeria for instance. There's a population of over 200 million. And take the, the, the aggregate of all the numbers that are leading us, the national to local government. They are less than, 10, less than 5 percent of, of our population. So, it means that if the people stand up for their rights, you know, with what what the, 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 what the laws are given, the leaders will step up. We will not let them up. We have um, an APC chieftain uh, joining us right now. He is an um, engineer, Kelani uh, Mohammed. 
Good evening to you, Engineer Mohammed. Many thanks for joining us on this particular discourse. Thank just you very much. Okay, just before we took the break, we are talking about um, the nation. Now we're talking about uh, the crop of leaders that we have, and the former Minister of Education, and of course, uh, the Governor-elect of Anambra State, Professor Charles Soludo. Uh, they seem to think that the issue that we have is actually the politicians. Do you agree? Oh, yeah. Uh, you sent me the the link, and I saw. Well, the minister, the former minister of education, uh, A.B. Ezekosili and uh, Mr. Soludo, they said it all, but they are part of the problem of this country. How so? How are they part of the problems, engineer? <laughs> Obito of education, during her time, she could not be able to implement the 6334 program of education in this country. Mr. Soludo was in CBN. He could not turn around our Nera to be, you know, uh, to be equivalent to dollar. So their research is good, but they are also part of our problem. What, what we are saying is this. Since the First Republic, the good leaders like the Sadownas, the Azikwe, the Tefa Abelewas, and the rest of them, they did well in this country. They brought us together. They brought the spirit of nationalism. They brought the spirit of oneness and unity. And all they did was they did not care to amass wealth. What they did was to make sure that they bring the you know, the dividend of democracy to the people. Today we have this cross of people who school free of charge and uh, they are not doing the right thing. But nevertheless, they spoke about Africa, African leaders, about 90% of them, they tend to move towards our colonial masters. They are now ruling us through imperialism. We know there is no, no, nobody has colonized any one of us. There is no pan-Africanism in their minds. That's why we are having all these problems. What they have is just corruption, corruption, corruption all uh, the day. So what do we what, do? What do we do going forward? Because right now, if you are saying that, um, that the, the crop of leaders that we have right now are only after their own selfish interest, how, what do we do about um, political, you know, I, idealism, you know, most political parties that we have right now, they seem not to have a bit of perspective as per the direction they really want to go. Over time, they just come, you know, during election campaigns and just um, make lofty promises. At the end of the day, they go, when they are elected into offices, they simply abandon all that they have promised the people. And what we have is that the people suffer for it. What do we begin to do going forward? Whether you are a Yoruba man, you are a Nupe man, you are a or Hausa, God knows why he brought us together. If we don't do that for the benefit of the future of our generations, then Nigeria is doomed. The issue of regionalism, ethnic nationalism, tribalism, sentiments, we should do away with it. When we do that and we form a formidable fort, formidable fort in the sense that we come together as a united front to build Nigeria, we have all the text in this country to make Nigeria a great nation. There is nothing we don't have. But we have to do, there must be a war against the discipline in this country where few people will just come and amass wealth, take the common wealth of the people into their pockets. It does not mean Nigeria has no money. We have everything, but this money is goes directly into the pockets of selfish politicians. And that is why you cannot see since 1999 to date, unless this government now that is trying to be roads, talk about a healthcare system and good education. All right. Previously, you can see how our money were stashed away in foreign countries. Is this government now that are bringing back this money so that they will use it judiciously? All right. 
All right, thank you so much, um, Engineer um, Kelani uh, Mohammed, um, for your thoughts. Uh, would we actually believe that um, if Nigerians, uh, you know, were united and forge ahead, they would actually put the people f um, first uh, as against them, selfish interests. Want to say thank you um, for your thought. Uh, uh, we do appreciate it. Uh, let's just get um, the last words from um, Demeji. Demeji, uh, if you would, uh, can you just uh, prefer lasting solutions to all that we have discussed them um, so far? Sincerely speaking. The, the power to the people. As I said in my opening, that if a group of people are determined, if the governor, regardless of who is in power, power resides with the people. Or what as in Africa, as the people, people, citizens, don't not act Power. That is them God Almighty and God Almighty. All right, um, Demeji, uh, we seem to be having some disconnect. Uh, we are having some distortion in your audio. I must say a very big thank you to you for you know joining us, and uh, we appreciate um, your input um, so far. Thank you very much. All right, up next on the show, Nigerians tell us what region would manage the country better. I will leave you with that. My name is Justin Akadonye. Plus Politics returns um, tomorrow. Bye for now. Nigeria is praying for good leaders. Whether coming from west, north, south, we're looking for good leaders. And the good leaders who can control Nigeria, who can manage the resources of Nigeria, because we have a lot of things. We have a lot of waste in Nigeria. It's because of uh, we have uh, foundational issues. If not, in, a, in an organized society where the system works, you don't need to know where a, a leader comes from. Because the, the leader could come from the north, leaders could come from the south. What matters is the welfare of of, 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 of the people, the generality of people. So it doesn't matter whether it's north or south. And let me even shock you. Even a leader that has come from the north, the northern people, they might even suffer under him. Why people that are not from his uh, own uh, ethnic extraction, or regional extraction, they might be enjoying him. So what we need is a leader that will see everybody as one. It's not a question of ethnicity, or northern, northern, or south, or anything. It's a question of individuals individuals and this period to my own suggestion they allow the youth to take over the mantle we have uh, intelligent youth who can take this country to the next level at least the answers shows that we have intelligent and organized youth we have uh, the crop of politician we have now just uh, old men who want to you know kind of recycle themselves and hand over to their children and all that. Both the northerners are corrupt, southerners are corrupt, because there are some people, they call themselves godfather for both sides. It's in the north, it's in the south, you understand? The only thing we need now, we need somebody. God should give us somebody that have fear of God, that can manage this country very well.